Hello, folks. Welcome to an episode of The Thief and the Necromancer. Uh, this is one of our regular uh, Saturday streams here on Actual Play. Uh, my name is Strash. I use he, him pronouns. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Strash A. And uh, one of the things that I, I uh, sometimes forget to talk about, but I'm making sure to, to nail it this time, is... I uh, just wanted to remind everyone that because we live in an apocalypse, until further notice, all of our uh, cheers and subscriptions and other things like that are going towards... They're getting split between a couple of charitable causes, I think, uh, we're giving to a number of the... Um, uh, 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 I know this... I'm sorry, what? Is it a BLM? Yes, but I'm trying to remember the exact charity that we're giving it to. But you know what? It's it's in chat. I will I will do the little thingy that Sean has set up here. Yeah. Ha. There we go. Uh, to BLM and the uh, uh, I think it's I think it's the Trans Legal Defense Fund. But we'll uh, we'll yep. we'll take a look. Um. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, just trying to do what we can. And of course, uh, there's gonna be links in chat if you want to do something directly. But other than that. I'm ready to play some games. I believe last time we, we tangled with a, a nefarious uh, Thieves Guild and some wizards, so we'll see how, how things go. We did not end up in a good spot last time. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, I'm going to pass it off to Lauren. Lauren, say hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello. Yes, I'm Lauren. I use she day. I've not had a haircut for like a year and a half, and I only realized that when I got onto Zoom. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably do something about this, but I didn't. Um, so, uh, I would play. I am playing the thief today. Um, Morgan, who uses she/her, uh, she ended last season, uh, last episode, on what I think is my favorite moment in RPGs: <laughs> been over a trash can. She was trying to sit on fire in a closet to escape uh, out of a building, and then the door opens, and one of her family members is like, "Cousin, what the hell are you doing?" <laughs> And I am captured, so I'm very excited to see what will come of uh, that whole little situation. I'll pass it over to Luke. How are you doing? Hi, hey, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, slow weekend so far, which has been really nice. Um, hi, I'm Luke. I design games and stuff. You can find me on Twitter at Wildwoods Games. My pronouns are they them. Uh, I will be volunteering today alongside my co-volunteer and dear friend Judd. Hey, uh, hey, I'm Judd, he, him, and uh, I talk about and write about games a bunch. Uh, I'll I'll talk about it afterwards where, where you can track us down, and I'm excited to find out what the heck happens to these rascals. Uh, and I think it's up to the players to tell us where they start off or what the, what is it called? Uh, the starting situation? The spawning circumstance. Spawning circumstance. Spawning uh, circumstance. Way better than starting situation. Yeah. So Judd and I are just going to go have a tea break, uh, Strash and Lauren, while you two confer, and then, uh... <laughs> that's, that's very true. <laughs> uh, so Lauren, where do you, where do you think we start? I, I know that there is a Thief is, Thief is captured, uh, starting circumstance, but, um... There I, is. Do we want to just jump to that? Yeah, we can totally kick this off with a intense escape scene. Just trying to... <laughs> My computer's like, oh, you want this PDF? I can't find it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> so... <laughs> Bad for you. <laughs> uh, tell your volunteers that the thief's been seized by a master of the city and is now bound in a keeping house. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's just let's just go 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 with that. Uh... Yeah. Uh, so cool. Um, uh, take the time to ask questions to set the stage, then begin play with the necromancer's efforts to restore the thief to liberty. Uh, so, uh, let's, let me, let me refresh my memory. I don't, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, double checking what the, the, uh, That's what questions are for. The, the, what happened last time. I remember that somehow we ended up with piles of money. Is that correct? Yeah, you you'll have done a big heist yes. on the thieves guild, and that's why they were angry, and that's ultimately yeah, why they had, chased us, and that's why and the spawning circumstance. Yeah, was the like you have a short time to gather your belongings and depart before the housebreakers uh, come. All right, in which case, I guess what I'm going to ask is, how did we, 
So, so, so I do know where the thieves' hideout is, of course, right? Mm-hmm. All right, excellent. Uh, so, where, uh, what, uh, dear, dear uh, volunteers, what does the thieves' hideout look like? Where, where is their mm-hmm. base of operations that my dear friend is captured in, or, or, or stuck in, or whatever the case may be? I've got an idea on that, Luke. If you, I play. Um, I, I mean, I think we, we kind of. Uh, stumbled over the fact last game that there is a, uh, you know, un- under the under the city is our, our sewers, and then kind of even under that is a kind of a some kind of weird old shrine that has kind of been buried upon you know buried upon layers upon layers, and so I think we we kind of figured out that the thieves were originally a cult. And so I, I mean, maybe the I, so I think the uh, the you know the chapter house for the thieves is an old temple that's kind of been built and built you know like it started as kind of like an old stone temple and then uh, you know bars and uh, and uh, you know, gambling houses and like things were like added around to it until it was just this kind of uh, weird hodgepodge of architecture. Like an oyster mm. secreting nacre around a small piece of grit to make a pearl. Love it. Love uh, it. Awesome. It's all about a good ocean metaphor. Um, yeah. I, I have a thought about this place. Cool. Um, I think it is built. Uh, it is built to echo, uh, and like echo quite, kind of like uh, strongly. And so, like up the top, there are open chambers that let in the wind, so that the like sound of the wind like whistles through. And down the below, there are tunnels that like lead out under the bay to like where the surf like smashes against the cliffs, so that like the roaring of the surf echoes through. So that, like, there is this, it, it is constantly, like, it is very easy as a thief to, like, conceal your movements or conceal your private conversations amidst this sound that is already there. But it is also quite difficult to move silently because all of your movements also echo. Very cool. All of your movements also echo if you do not have spells that devour the sound of your movements. Well, yes, that is true. <laughs> Uh, is that? Cool. So a, a prominent absence moves so, through the tunnels. I would, uh, <laughs> I would like to, I would like to say that in our in our initial pass uh, studying this mm-hmm. place, uh, I like my thief has no doubt uh, helped me out by by mentioning at least where the dungeons and the holding cells and the like might be. Uh, mm. So uh, I believe that what I am going to do is I am going to attempt to uh, cloak myself. Well, actually, let me ask this. Is it enough for me to simply cloak my steps in silence and pass through areas that I would otherwise, uh, that that nobody else could pass through silently? Or uh, would I need to go further and, and shield myself from sight as well? I think in the... Uh, Judd, uh, tell me what you think of this. I yeah. think in the aftermath of a major robbery, the coin uh, stolen still not having been recovered, I think the place is buzzing like a hornet's nest. And I think I think you're, you're probably going to want more than just silence uh, in case someone stumbles upon you in the middle of soundlessly moving through a corridor, which would not go well. It's totally fine. I think I think I will I will a hundred percent go with with the far more risky spell. And even if it if it goes poorly, it might go poorly in interesting ways to allow me to phase through the ground, and I'll see if I can catch myself and and then yeah, find sure. a spot that that silence is expected because I'm past the outer perimeters. So I I have a thought about where the holding cells are since it was blown up. I would if, yeah sure if if we are open to hear it yeah yes um, let's hear it I think they keep prisoners down in the tunnels where the beating sound of the waves runs and where also at high tide the water runs up 
and they have they have cal you know the building of the tunnels and like their expert calibration and experimentation over the centuries means they know exactly like how high off the ground to suspend you so that at the top of high tide you're like you know what is laughing at your chin but it's not just gonna like straight out drown you but like it's very unpleasant very frightening sorry the thief uh Oh no! I, I'm sure I've like handled similar at home. Like, this, this is child's play. Like <laughs> these folks in the north don't know how to how to treat guests. All right, uh, I'm going to attempt to cast uh, hiding from stolen senses. So, yes, yes, and it's the best version of the result I needed. Uh, so. I am uh, capable, I, so I ask Gagurn to hide me from senses uh, on a hit. Uh, I cannot, uh, like, they cannot see me or hear me. Uh, on a, If I get a two or more, they can't smell or taste me. On a three or more, they cannot even feel the touch uh, the touch of me. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can actually phase through people. Uh, so I think that's that's what it is. is I have Gurn cloak me in, in you know, the... the the mantle of death and, and like a ghost, uh, nothing, nothing but, but a chill touch. Uh, I'm going to try and make my way, uh, to the cells. Uh, so, uh, I guess my question is what, uh, what does it take to spring? I assume my friend, the thief is in the cells as we established, but what does it take to spring my friend, the thief from, from such a place? Like, is, is there a, a key hidden somewhere? Is there... Uh, yeah. As you are wandering through the corridors, I think Gurn grumbles to you. So much effort for such a fallible tool. This city is full of thieves and liars. Why don't we just find a replacement? You know, Gurn... You didn't have much choice being bound to me. So I guess that you cannot simply replace me no matter how much you want. You but need I... not remind me of how little choice I had. But I did have a choice in choosing my friend. Which means that, in a similar way, I am bound. Just not by... Not by magic. By something different and much more human. Which I think, seeing as you are a ghost now... You should attempt to remember. Mm. Um, Don't worry, that'll pass in time. <laughs> I'm not dead yet! <laughs> and and Gurn just doesn't respond. Uh, this is an asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. He, he, he gets to be a little grumpy. He's, he's got, you know, his perspective's a bit warped. Um, so, uh, I, I think there is... Uh, there you're you're in this cell kind of uh in like a pit like tied up like in a pit so that when it fills up it fills up to your neck right is that like the idea Luke? yeah like i i don't have a clear image of whether it's like suspended from chains or on the floor or like on a platform like i'm kind of like i'm not i'm imagining it's like a, a there's probably a hole of some sort because otherwise the um, whoever the, the, the jailers are would have to be wading through water as well. So I imagine that there are probably ways to retract these cages yeah, or whatever that, they are. That, that, that and like walkways above like where the water comes in. Like Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm picturing cool. like um a chain you can adjust like the length of like from a an above yeah. floor. So like the like the jailers or other people who are containing you don't have to like Come and physically lift you around. They can just be like, "Oh, it's that time of day." Then <laughs> they sort of like pull you up like a foot. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, like, yeah. yeah. I picture also <laughs> maybe that like at water level is also like where the like hidden secret dock of the thieves guild is, where they do their like their smuggling and their like receiving of like goods from shipwrecked uh, vessels and that kind of thing. Yeah. And so like um, you just kind of get dunked um among the docks, like. <laughs> Because why not? They don't really care. And uh, the the cell door opens, and uh, a woman, maybe a couple years younger than you, uh, walks in. Um, and she's got her tattoo. I think it goes like up her arm and then like up to her cheek. And it's like the dragon is is kind of uh, 
biting her eye uh, or exhaling her eye or, or something. And she kneels down and says, uh, you're Morgan hmm? from the South. I think I spit out a mouth full of like salt water. <laughs> um, and I think like I, I imagine my hands are bound so my hair is kind of like sort of across my face and it's a bit matted with like salt water and stuff. And it's like not super pretty. And I think I said like, well, <laughs> if I said no, I feel like you should be really embarrassed. <laughs> I think you should be really embarrassed. You got caught stealing. And I think she, uh, she like take her finger, like not in a creepy way, just in a like, Hey, I want to talk and I don't need to be like sifting through your hair and like puts one hair, like puts one, like one behind in one ear and one behind the other and says, uh, I run this clan. My mother woke up about a month ago after an evil dream and is, wasn't able to move the right side of her body. So you can drown here. And when you're, if your friend tries to come in and break you out, he's going to get killed or you can work off your debt and you can be my number two. Pause, we can, pause, 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 pause. Yeah. How many people are in this room other than this woman? Uh, it's her in the room, and then like her two guards are outside. Fantastic! In the can I, as she says, like if your friend comes in here, he's going to get killed. Can I yeah. just decloak because I can end the spell at any time, and just like have a knife like ready, and just be like, I'm sorry, what was that? I missed that last sentence. <laughs> and just like rolls his eyes and it's just, like theatrics. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I, like you could do that. Um, I do it. I do it. There's, there's no. I could. I do it. Uh, okay. Do you travel with? You're traveling with a fucking wizard. Uh, please. I'm no mere wizard. I'm a necromancer. I think like in Morgan's like yeah, he'll like boil your bones and like take your blood and like. <laughs> I can't and do Gun, any of this. Gun, Gun, yeah, good, good, good. Like. She's got ambition. I think it's the first time I've liked her. <laughs> so, uh, and I think, uh, I think, wait, 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 something really weird has to happen. Of course it does. Please. Uh, Kai says, who has ambition? Oh, damn. Remind the folks at home who Kai is again. Uh, Kai is the uh, dragon lady is, is the, is the young woman who just came in and wanted you to be her number two. She's like the head of this thief's guild. Um, and she heard Gurn. Gurn is, Gurn's like eyebrows just like slowly travel <laughs> up, his, up his skull. Cause he, yeah. I'm not, I don't know. Actually, yeah, just great question, Judd. What do we think Gurn looks like? Anyone? I mean, I always imagined him as for, for completely unrelated reasons. He was Giles from Buffy in my head. I, I actually, it's that's pretty skull. fucking good. That's awesome. Anthony, Anthony Stewart head is like a pretty, pretty big gun mood. Uh, oh yeah. Anthony Stewart head is, is a lot, is amazing in all sorts of ways. So yeah. Um, Love it. But like bold, I reckon. Cool. And like weird, like necromantic tattoos. Oh, yeah. Like on oh, his skull. Cool. Nice. Uh, cool. So yeah, I think I, 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 I tell, I tell Kai and just like, all right. So, uh, like I, I, actually I, I, I freeze for a second cause clearly she can hear Gurn, which means that some of my tricks are going to end up very different, but that's okay. And I go like, all right, this is how this is going to go down. You are going to unlock this door. I am not going to slit your throat. I am not going to bind your shade to my side and have you serve me for all eternity. Are we in accord? Do you know, the thing about boiling the bones, if you were to cut the thief's heart out, we would have the materials we need. I could teach you that spell. Or you could reach for the keys right now and open the door, and I am not going to slit your- I just repeat the sentence. <laughs> I don't have hands. 
Wait. This is Gun. Gun, Gun is talking, right? Oh, like, oh, 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 different. Okay, sorry. I thought yeah, yeah. That, that Kai said that. I was like, oh, no, and no, you're no, an Echoman, so of course no, you are. Gun, yeah, no, it's, it's Gun. Like, he's just like, I don't have hands. Very flatly. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's fine. Uh, do, I, I don't know that I, there is no role to convince someone of something. No, so you, yeah. you get to tell me if Kai actually does what I say and then, like, waits for an opportunity or if I have to, like, struggle or, like, what's what, what, what happens next. She looks at Morgan and she says, what do you think, Morgan? Is he a killer? <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna end so poorly for me. Well, he's not <laughs> much of it. Well, he's not much of a necromancer, says Gunn. I think. I think Morgan says the question is: Are you willing to find out, cousin? There are two guards outside. The one on the left is useless, but I have to keep him at my side because he's family. The one on the right is a really well-trained ex-soldier who I can't replace. So if you have to do violence, go left. See, cousin, and before we depart, I would like to take this moment to tell you the difference between found family and blood family. I, on the one hand, am not weighed down by my marriage to my family. I have my highly competent, skilled family right here. And perhaps you should take this to heart if you would like in future to not be such of a fuck up, for lack of a better word. Because why would you come here to take me on? Sure, I'm bound. But you see my delightful friend here <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> I like to think I made the right choice. Ugh. The power of friendship. <laughs> Says Gun. Yeah. That's not she... so bad, old man. <laughs> she unlocks the chains and hands you the keys, Morgan. Oh, I think like Morgan, like, had this is a similar eyebrow raise and like, oh, it's... Them. Maybe, maybe like. I assume it's so that you can get out of your, your cagey thing here or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think she says, I think she says, like, oh, why the change of heart? But what, like, I think like, she has that look in her face, it's like, there's a trick here, and I'm not sure what it is, but I'll find it. If you can get out the rest of the way, you deserve it. Let's see how your found family does. I'm curious. I don't think you've got found family. I think you've got a ruffian who talks to a decaying skull who got lucky. But I'm willing to be wrong. Well, I'd rather take a friend who can talk to a skull than well, whatever that guy is out there. I don't think that skull likes you very much. You should be careful. <laughs> I'd like to quote a meme, <laughs> which is the joke's on you because I can I cannot hate anyone as much as I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> that must. I think that runs in the family. She 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 hands you the keys and steps back, like you know, away from the door. Uh, so I think Gun I, is. Gun is standing next to Kai, just like, kind of like, just like, you know, like studying her face, like trying to figure out like how it is that she's able to hear him. And he like, doesn't turn around. He just calls over his shoulder to you. He's like, are you sure we can't replace? C can't we just swap them? This one can hear <laughs> me. It would be very convenient. I, 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 I look at nothing. And then I look at, at at the thief and I go, put the manacles on her, make sure she's gagged, put her in the cage, and then we're going. Okay. <laughs> I think Morgan like sort of lets herself out. Um, and yeah, so did you did you want to like uh, like 
trapper down here too, Necromancer. Uh, I just want to make sure that she's not like free to run around and organize. She'll be out in like 20 minutes. It's just, I, I want to give us a 20 minute head start is all it is. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, like, it, it, I, I don't, I'm not planning to kill her because she is right. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> uh, but two, uh, you don't want the leader of a thieves guild, who's clearly incredibly canny and capable of hearing ghosts, to be free and ready to 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 shout orders and organize all of her troops after us at the blink of an eye. So yeah, all I, all I really want is for her to be delayed. Hmm. I will ask my volunteers, like, what is, what does Kai do? Like, is she leaving immediately when I take these chains off? Is she hanging around? Like, what, what's her, what's, what's she doing? I have a thought here, Judd. Yeah, hit it. I, I think she's perfectly happy to be tied up. If that's, if that's what you, you know, like, if you want to put the manacles on her, I think she's chill with that. Um, but I think if you do, uh, there is a strange thing that begins to happen that you notice. Which is that, like, almost like time lapse style, the metal of the iron of the manacles starts to pit away and deteriorate the same way that metal does underwater. And, like, in That's salt water cool. specifically. Like, not, not quickly, you know, she's not gonna be out, like, in a minute, but, like, it just, like, as soon as it touches her skin, it just starts to, like, erode. Oh, neat. I think Morgan's, like, Neat trick. We should leave, right? <laughs> yeah, which is why she just kind of like, yeah, like <laughs> leans back against the wall, like happy to wait because, like, ah, like manacles. Who cares? Uh, it, it's well, cool. If I if I if I need to, like, I mean, I can cut a strip from my uh, ropes or whatever, and 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 improvise a rope here, uh, which still decays underwater. It just takes significantly longer. Um, I, I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know if we need it. If we if, if we get five minutes, if we get ten minutes, it's probably plenty enough. Let's 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 just book it. Um, uh, d how do you how do you want to take out the guards? Uh, just outside. <laughs> do you want to do get help? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your? No, it's it was a it was an um it's, a, it's, it's an it's Avengers a joke or it's oh, technically Thor Ragnarok <laughs> joke, but yeah. Oh, I should know that one. That one's that one's straight by Taika Waititi. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess we can just maybe silently dispatch them. I don't have particularly strong feelings about taking Do you them have ways of silently dispatching them? I'm really bad at this game. Uh, Actually, I'm 50-50 at this game. Let's see. If I dispatch them violently... Um, it doesn't say anything about silently, but I, I can do it violently. Or physically. Violently is probably more accurate. Well, violently is if you struggle against an, an uh, enemy. Oh, Physically is usually yeah. if, like, someone's trying to hold you or grab you or tie you up or it's an object, like you're trying to force a door or something. Um, oh, I see. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. I believe Vincent's <laughs> rather purple prose on the physically is against the mass and momentum of an uncooperative or unsensible thing. But, like, violently <laughs> is against an enemy. <laughs> so... I think Gun is like scowling and is like. I do have fear now, so I can yeah, right? attempt to fear one. Yeah, I think Gun is like, if we must leave this far more promising companion behind, <laughs> at least will you give me leave to rend the psyche of these two sniveling worms outside the door and strike them dumb with terror? I mean, yeah, sure, I'm okay with that. Uh. Thief, uh, Morgana, do you wanna do you wanna face one for a moment, and I'll face the other? Uh, so I have a I have a fun question that Judd set up just five minutes ago, which is, do we trust the woman behind us? So do I go for the dangerous one with sorcery, or do you want to oh. do not trust her and and, and swap our targets? I know question. that she knows that I know. <laughs> I just want you, you, you and Judd can can totally decide after the moment. I don't. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think like, I think Morgan is very unsettled by that exchange because I feel like just letting someone go, even though their family feels counter to like the the culture of thieves, <laughs> um, because 
just letting me go serves no purpose and uh... it reminds me of a historical anecdote uh about there was this chinese general who once warded off an invasion by opening the gates of the city and just sitting in the middle of the open gates like playing a lute oh yeah I've heard and that he one, was yeah. known he was known he was famous for being like the best general in china and so the opposing general was like there must be a trick here and i can't see what it is which means this is a trap so we will turn around and we will go the other way and we will not invade today and like like there was no trick it was just my games that, that is cool that is totally why good. would someone let an enemy go there must be a trick somewhere yeah so, so it's more of a case like i think like i think she was being honest when she said like i'll just go but yeah, like, what does it mean? <laughs> so, uh, she, she she said that one of them is useless but a blood relation. The other is a seasoned soldier that she doesn't want to lose. Uh, I'm happy to tag the seasoned soldier with sorcery, or at least attempt it, because if nothing else, it'll stun him for a moment. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, let's, should we try that and see how it goes? All right, so we do trust her word. I hit the one that's the seasoned soldier, i.e. it was on the right, but I saw her making head motions, but there, there's this whole, like, my right, your right thing, but I assume I, I understood which direction she was pointing when she went like that, and, you know, all yes. that stuff, so yeah, all right, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool, so we'll trust her word. Uh, I think this is the plan, so, like, I'll go whatever direction and cast my unreasoning terror, and then, depending on how that goes, we'll see if uh, I'll also be able to assist Morgan here or not, but, uh, Hopefully you can take care of the other, violently or not. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, let's let's give this a go. Uh, cool. So uh, do, 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 do. so for me, I'm casting a spell, so I need a four or less. Survey says... No. No. Uh, fortunately, oh. on a miss, this is not a bad spell. This is a good spell on a miss, too. It says... Uh, so on a success like when i ask Gurun to visit unreasoning terror upon someone on a success they they either go catatonic or throw themselves in the ground or run away but on a miss they are not overcome but they do leap in sudden fear uh ask your volunteers what they do next good question if you want to think about it a second, we can take a look at how Morgan's half of the equation goes here. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I've, I've got an idea of, of what the guy does, yeah. Yep. Nice. I, I think for me, hmm, I'll describe, I think, it just feels like a two-part thing where it's like, you want to sort of sneak up and then do like the, like sort of get the, yeah. so very similar mm -hmm. to what I just had happen to um, Kai. So I think... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think what I'll, sorry if this is too cute, I can, I can totally like not do this, but I, I think if it's like just going with violently, it has to be that case of like tapping the guy on like the wrong shoulder, if he really is like an idiot, like I said, yeah. and then when he looks that way, like clocking him <laughs> from the others, from the other side. Um, mm. So... Well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah, I think that's what I do. I like, I like sh tap him on one shoulder, and I go, go to. I think like what I want to do is maybe just clock him so we can get away. What do you What do you think? Make that's fine. Him? Yeah. What is it? Uh, I think it is disarm or disable them. I think is a yeah with nimble minus one. <laughs> so that's a three. It's a fifty fifty likewise. Yeah, I mean. Throw, throw the bones, right? Okay. Uh, roll one, six, and I need under a three. Oh, I got a, That's a success. I got a, That's a success. On a hit, I get the number of chances equal to my roll to end the fight on my terms. Choose one of these for an event one. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I just want to sort of like distract him from one side, clock him with the other. <laughs> Maybe like... Uh, I don't necessarily want to kill him. I feel really conflicted about that part of it. Um, well, you don't have to. Add, so the the for I assume your format's the same. Actually, I'm staring at my violently. I'm sorry. 
Uh, but like you can just say, I do X, do I disarm or disable them? Like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll punch him in the face. Yeah, you don't have to say, do I kill them? You can just say, hey, do I do this thing? Yeah, uh, I, I, I totally want someone to punch him yeah. in the face. Do I disarm and disable him? Judd, I would yeah. like to take yeah. counsel with you, my fellow volunteer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like at this point, I think we should answer the question of, uh, was the lady telling the truth? Is yeah, she was. On the right? Okay. I think she was. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in which case, I uh, yes, it feels like disarm and disable is like like that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, you punch him in the face, he goes down like a yeah. sack of potatoes. Like yep. who fucking Maybe cares? do like a foot sweep to get him in the ocean. To help uh, him out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you you totally John Wick him. And uh I think he he drops his you know, the the northern thieves like to carry these knives that are kind of so big they're like small swords, right? It's like knife, sword, eh, yeah, debatable. I'm like in my head, like they're like they're like big, like hooked, like they're shaped kind of like the teeth of like a dragon. Nice. Yeah. So that they would nice. like the and the entry and exit wound would be like enormous. Um, yeah. And nice. full of blood, in a way that is unhealthy. Love it. Yeah. And I, so I think he 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 drops that. And I think the the soldier next to him doesn't realize that he's knocked out. So like as he's falling, the spell is taking him, and he takes out his like long straight old soldier sword, and uh, you know probably a short sword, uh, and and uh, kind of starts looking around and sweating. And he says, that "There's a necromancer somewhere near here." All right. Um. I don't know, Lauren, do you want me to to, <laughs> to try and take this guy out violently? I also have a 50-50 like you. Do, do uh, we risk it? I think I think it means it's like this a necromancer around here. It's only appropriate if we cut to like our necromancer trying to dispatch him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I think that uh, Gurn tries, Gurn fails. Then I go, I don't know, Gurn. like I, I, I whisper under my breath. I'm like, I don't know, Gurn. Thief seems more effective than you. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm also gonna go with this guy and see how it goes. It's probably gonna go poorly. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we go. Three or less. You take all the time. No, 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 no successes because I can't. <laughs> this game, this is the game where I can't roll. Um. On a miss, if you run out of chances, ask whether they leave you for dead, take you captive, drive you away, or what. Um, <laughs> I just keep going back at this awful cycle. <laughs> yeah, we're captured again. Sorry, continue. No, so, on a miss, uh, do they leave me for dead, take me captive, drive me away, or what? What does... Are you attacking him with a weapon? Are you attacking him with yeah, I go, I go in, I go in with that same dagger that I was using on Kai, right? Like, yeah. I think uh, it's just... I'm relying on stealth and silence. I'm it's definitely not working. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I just clearly, clearly this person is way more competent slash uh, yeah. better prepared than, than I expected. How, how does, how does it go for me? You, you let me know. Doug, I have a thought. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you like, you come in with the blade and he just like, he, he like with one hand, just like, grabs your wrist and like reverses it so that you stab yourself in the chest. Yeah, that's fair. Like shoulder checks you against the wall to give him something to lever against. And then just yeah. like buries the knife in your shoulder, twists it, and you feel like liquid start to like yeah. trickle out. And he just and he's and he says to you very softly and very calmly, if you pull that knife out, you have maybe 30 seconds before you bleed to death. I recommend that you keep it in and find something to apply pressure with. And then he just steps Gurn away. Gurn a little help here! <laughs> steps away from you towards the thief. And like, Gurn just like, again, the reprise. I don't have hands. Against the Against soldier, Gurn, you like, idiot! <laughs> and now Gurn is, now Gurn is just sulking, right? Like now Gurn is just like, no, fuck you. Like, uh, thief, um, you're you're on your own here. Good luck. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think like totally contrast to that. The thief, I think, in slow motion sees that knife go in, and like I think Morgan sort of dissociates a bit in the sense that she's like, "Oh, fucking kill you!" Like she just goes like, "Bananas." Feral. 
Um, and I, I think, like, uh, I'll, I'll act violently. I think what I'll do is, like, on instinct, like, just throw that dagger, like, the really knifey, like, pointy teeth mm. dagger at him, and then also throw myself at him. <laughs> so, like, if that doesn't get him, I fucking will. Don't worry. <laughs> um, that, that's what I do. I'll, I'll roll my dice down to see if I 50 50 will. <laughs> Good well, luck. Thank you. <laughs> she should have kind of pushed myself or other. There's yeah. no tricks in oh, this game. No. Nope. <laughs> this might be the end of our game, which is okay. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, on a miss, you run out of chances. Oh. Ask your volunteers whether they leave you for dead, take you captive, drive you away, or what. <laughs> he, uh. He. He dodges the, the knife. And then just kind of like stiff arms you back, and uh, and like is he's holding the sword up in like a you know a, a a thrust position, and and the the point is just right on you, like you know, it's trained on you. I mean, um, and he says, "Unlock her now." Yeah, and I think we just hear like echoing slightly from inside the cell. So much for found family, cousin. Oh. I pull the knife out. I start my 30 second timer and I attempt to murder oh this guy. God, <laughs> it's fine. I got this. Sure, okay. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. You just throw yourself on him from behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean. How like... can we get how can we get Strash to attack? I know. Let's attack the idea of found family. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe my very concept. So, 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 I, so I, let I, me I let me point something out, Judd. This is exactly what killed my investigator in blue coats. That is exactly how we ended. Just so you know, because <laughs> he was yeah, like, "I, I come after your story. daughter," and I was like, "Do you now?" <laughs> my my provoke someone is actually uh, one of my best moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like you're provoking a player. <laughs> No, it's all good. Uh, sometimes the dice don't come up. Uh, we have two options here. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I mean, you folks get to answer what this person does and how it ends up. The other option is we could do a spotting circumstance where <laughs> we just both started present. We're like, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, they're both so it's close. Like so close. We just need a one die to be less than the three or less. Just like, I have never felt more terrified to roll dice than playing this game. It's okay. Sometimes sometimes it, it just goes bad. But, like, that's why we play games with dice. Sometimes the dice tell us that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> I swear, though, I think I've rolled, like, a dozen times the last two games. I got, like, one success. It's just... My luck is pretty terrible here. Look, you did so well in cloaking yourself from the vision of others. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so on a miss, you run out of chances. Ask uh, whether they leave you for dead, take you captive, drive oh God, you away, you, or what. You rolled again and you got another miss? Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clearly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No sure. questions. I, I mean, th that's, oh. the, that's the game though, right? Like, you don't roll if yeah, you're not sure. ready to have this happen, right? No, so. For sure, yeah. for sure. Let's, let's end this scene and why don't you two come up with a, a spawning circumstance on a prison hulk. Amazing. And... Or in indentured servitude to the thieves guild or like i think there's any number of reasons that oh they might, yeah like i like if to fill in like the next beat that happens before we end it in terms of like ask what they do i think what he does is he staunches the bleeding and like ties you up oh yeah i i, I knew that i had a 30 second timer here i just yeah. was hoping that i'd be able to do something about it when i wasn't fighting this guy yeah <laughs> and like and like take and takes advantage of the fact that like while he is like the one person who can like stop Strash from bleeding out, there's not much that Morgan can do to like keep her at bay. But yeah, I think like I think lives saved, but like still within the power of the cult is my like yeah. summary I think, of the outcome. Yeah. And I think uh like he unlocks Kai. And I think the last thing we see before we go to whatever is next is uh Kai says um, or no, the, the, the soldier says, well, the, the bad news is she didn't take your deal, but the good news is, is, you know, I think your cousin's still alive. <laughs> and she says, uh, and she, she goes outside and, and 
outside of the, anyone's view kills him and says, uh, no, it looks like they killed him. It's a shame. <laughs> and uh, that's that. Uh, shall it's we? Okay, I'm a lawyer. Start a new spawning circumstance. Do we want to take a break? Do we want to? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm Just rock into another one. I'm I'm, I'm fine to rock out. into another one. I don't need a break particularly. Mm, same. Yeah. I'm shout out! Shout out, out to Master Stallworm. The new master storeworm. She's crushing it. <laughs> I'm so proud. So, uh, Lauren, <laughs> where, where do you want to jump in here? That is a good question. Um, oh, I wondered too if, like, one thing we don't know is characters, but a thing we, like, that maybe a meta thing is, like, part of this whole, like, cat and mouse toying with you is like my family is on the way <laughs> uh, to come and collect me <laughs> um which may be why we haven't died yet so i'm effectively no, their no property <laughs> but we'll, we'll say that. um i'll get back to spawning circumstances Gone are the days of the busy thoroughfare where we're just making coin <laughs> yeah well in good news we made giant piles of money uh the trick is that we have to get ourselves free and claim it uh but now unfortunately we are bound by this thieves guild so uh how are we you said we're on a barge of some sort no i mean i don't know i i, I was just like throwing out a possible idea like do we want to have a spawning circumstance on it where, where you two are are chained to oars on a prison barge do we want to do a uh a, a spawning circumstance where we take another spawning circumstance and say that you know you're on some kind of mission after being indentured by the by this guild uh i mean i do think there's a, like, a there's a bunch of different ways wanna, to like, go skip forward 12 months and be like cool and like the two of you have worked off your indentureship and like we just like we just like you know we're done with the city like yeah endless possibilities what would fritz uh fritz Leiter do you know it's really, there is one that says, tell your volunteers, you're perfectly innocent. So I was imagined one or both of you have committed a slight of crime and, it, and they're not coming for their satisfaction. I feel like they've already come for their satisfaction. Yeah. Why are they one? Yeah. I think it's it's probably, so So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's jump in media res. Uh, so Lauren, do you wanna, <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about this story. Is this next scene, a story that's about us doing a mission for Kai, this lady with the dragon tattoo, uh, or is the next scene us late at night after having done such a mission, plotting an escape? Is um, mm. like what 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 is the what is the situation? Like it could be days in the future, hours in the future, or months in the future, all of which is is plausible, right? Like. She could offer us that one chance to pay off our debts if only we pull off an impossible thing or something like that. Like if I don't, only you I don't steal know from the master wizard of the city or whatever, right? Like some like that. All, all of that is, all of that is plausible and possible. I, I don't. Mm. I do kind of like the idea of being put on some kind of job that neither of us are that interested in doing to see if any sort of ethical or moral <laughs> quadrants come out of that kind of situation. Um, that could be really fun. Um, yeah. I'm also good... I think I'm also good... either uh, that or sort of uh, if, if we want the job to truly awful <laughs> like sort of uh veiling the awful job and then us going like if eh, this we gotta leave <laughs> um it depends on yeah uh, what, are you, what are you interested in seeing star uh i'm i'm i i would so the interesting thing to me is how do we eventually get past this chapter in our existence i'm okay with doing one spawning circumstance during said situation i was trying so desperately to get to <laughs> a nice time when we had money but it didn't quite work <laughs> out uh so so my question is this like do we do we like embed ourselves in the city do we rise in the hierarchy of this thieves guild 
Um, is this a, is this, do we, do we pick up like a year later and, you know, both of us are older and have been doing this for a bit or, or uh, like, wh- where do you want to be as a person? Are we, are we still struggling? Are, are we chafing under this whole shenaniganery? Oh, you know what? A time skip like that long, that long could be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with that. Uh, Chad, you're muted. Oh yes, you're muted, Jed, sorry. Uh, I mean, starting a year later and saying, hey, we've been really successful, this is actually going really well, is a possibility too. I mean, even if you kind of hate it, even if your character kind of hates it, right, it could be kind of interesting that something you hate doing has left you in the lap of luxury. Has yeah. left you, yeah, has 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 given you success. I think that's, that might be kind of interesting too. So like you, you could totally, you know, rock out with that spawning circumstance where you've, you know, come into a lot of money and you're, you're, you're chilling. Uh, we can find residents. We do need oh. real estate. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, so I think I think I think my gut says something slightly different, which is I I really like the pitch that you folks had about stealing something from a wizard because I do need wizard bits. That's still on my list of mm-hmm. stuff I need to acquire. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Lorraine, how do you feel about the following spawning circumstance? Um, mm. And and you, t- I, I like the idea that where it's like. A year later, and we can tell that the characters now have like aged, maybe have a scar, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but like, uh, tell your volunteers that you've been keeping yourself, uh, keeping yourselves close, studying and practicing your respective arts, and that someone has just come to your residence door. And I feel like we actually get to be like normal for half a second and maybe talk about what this last year has been like, and then maybe we get our mission. How do you feel about that? Does that sound interesting or fun to you? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, cool. Uh, so now that we're agreed, you, you've heard the the start, the initiator. I feel like we can't jump to the good times without at least seeing us during the other times, right? Like, yeah. where are yeah. we exactly? How's it going, right? Uh, so, okay. um, so let me ask Lauren uh, in this uh, in the city. Uh, what do you think our 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 place looks like? And Judd slash Luke. Uh, r- remind us a little bit of what this uh, city that we're staying in looks like. <clears throat> I know exactly where we're staying. Did it have like multicolored tiles? Or was that the last city? I can't keep track anymore. Uh, no, the last city was like the horrible salt. salt yeah, yeah. Uh, Cranog thing. Okay, um, okay. Say multicolored. Yeah, I like. I don't remember why, like, but my my brain has Mediterranean vibes. Why are the roofs like? Um, wasn't there like a, a color gradient across the roofs to match like the colors of the sun the sunrise? Oh yeah. Am I just were, making that yeah. up? I don't fucking know, but it's cool. Like, yeah. well, I mean, it. that could that's be the style right. now. Oh, a year later, that's that's there's been a lot of roofing. It's yeah, been very been popular. A lot of, uh, fashion changes. <laughs> Sounds good. But yeah, it's like Minas Tirith on the side of a. Uh, uh, like a, a beach or a cliff, right? Like uh, lots of steps to it built into like the weathered kind of blue gray slate uh, facing where the like sun sets and the sea was, na- was it, was the, was it named after a word you'd come up with the sunset or sunrise, Lauren? Oh yeah. Uh, Rosper, which is, I think sunrise. Yeah. Yeah. So it faces this, it fa- the city faces the sunrise. The roofs are all painted in the colors of the sunrise there's this like yeah underground like, underground sewer bit and then this like deeper underground like previous ruins of a city from when they worshipped the store worm uh, yeah that's what i got so so where do you where do you think uh where do you think our 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 place is here oh yeah so morgan it's, it's, it's slash lauren great, it's great against all of my principles because it's for sure like an old shock that they've converted into like housing accommodations because like the merchant there couldn't pay like blood money <laughs> to the theme guild there um is the merchant still working downstairs but we get the apartment upstairs is that is that how uh, it works yeah it's totally that kind of deal yeah it's where it's like, like a front <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> nice that's super cool uh cool so yeah i, I think uh was it we're, we're keeping to ourselves practicing our respective arts uh when somebody comes to our door uh I also don't think the merchant likes us a lot because potentially there is like a lot of weird necrobatic stuff there's a lot of spooky gear and things. Actually, here is a question that I think it is important to answer. Do you 
own this place outright or do you are you still renting like do you have enough control over it that the necromancer feels secure making a stilling room and making a charnel house or whatever the fuck the other one's called uh how do you how do you feel or is it that mindset of like this is like we this is only ever going to be permanent like temporary I don't. We don't want to be in the Steve's Guild together. I don't want to build these things, and then have them like taken away with from me when we inevitably have to like. So 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 uh. I, so Lauren, I'm I'm asking this as a player, not as a character, right? Mm -hmm. Um, how, how so far the majority of the game has been about us basically picking up and leaving almost every session, right? Like we we mm -hmm. light our chances in a town on fire and then we're in a new city at the start of next game. We've left a lot of locations. Um, <laughs> so my question is like, do we actually set down roots, right? Like, um, and, and, and again, this is less about the thief and it's more about like Lauren, like, how do you feel about that? Like, do we actually commit to this thieves guild at some point? Like, like, do we actually say like, Look, there are. This is not good, but there are worse places. Like we have, we have managed to earn like maybe a modicum of respect, or like we've we've pulled off something that we can clearly see that this is now our place, right? Like it's not that we're being kept. It's just a slightly less awful cage than the one with the water that we were <laughs> we were at like two seconds ago. So like, is it still a cage, or is it is it like ha have we actually made a life here? Oh, that's such a good question. I, I love the idea of instead of having to have that compromise of making a life here for some time. Because um, I think the places we've run from, we probably would have been better off staying there. So it feels appropriate that like the place we end up kind of settling down in is this uh, town controlled by, by a branch of our family and we're possibly having to do jobs or take jobs or that kind of thing that neither of us are really interested in. And it, 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 I like the idea of running so hard to get away from something and then, like, inevitably coming back to it. Okay. Uh, in which case, Luke, I would say that, like, yeah, maybe maybe we do own the place. Um, yep. It's, mm. it's maybe... So it might even be that... that uh, I don't. I don't know, thief. You're 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 much more social of the two of us, and much more friendly with the local populace. Like, did you actually make friends with? Well, let, let's let's establish this. What kind of store is it? Because if oh, it's a butcher, there's a good chance that I'm actually friends with them. Oh, that's such. Oh my gosh, I love the idea of a butcher. <laughs> it's just really grim. <laughs> yeah, we, we we rent the the what is it the the small shed behind the butcher shop is that or like yeah. we, we that's where we stay. That's where we live. Like, there's a yard. There's a place is a for like a like a fishmonger. No, I like, like I like remembering. No, actually, I like butcher. I feel like there's probably like a little cobblestone yard in the back with maybe a well because you need a place for Somewhere them to actually be able to bring a carcass of a cow for this person to actually yeah. cut up. Uh, might might even be interesting because uh, c could even be like <laughs> no no it's probably not related to the Morgan anyway. Even though my work is, but butchery probably isn't. But yeah, at least we have we have delicious smells of cured meats. Um, I can see the windows with the big yeah. salami sticks and stuff like wrapped up and that kind of yep. thing. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Um did you did you both fight alongside Kai and and her second in command soldier and the Northern Thieves Guild clan against uh, Morgan's family and the necromancers? Like, is that what has been? kind of sharpening this clan into, you know, uh, a, a vicious fighting machine. Oh, heck yeah, you read my mind. I think, like, the UC see that through Morgan because she has, like, a worm tattoo, like, up the, like, one arm that sort of goes yeah. from her, her, like, fingers. You can sort of see it beginning on the back of her hand and it goes, like, up like that, and that's had to be, like, um, that... Yeah, and I think that came from them saying, okay, like, we, we will give you protection from your family, but you have to commit to us. And the way you do that is, like, on through your body. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I think the, the, the Necromancer probably has, like, aged a little bit. Uh, so you can see, like, um, he definitely no longer looks basically like a, a, a scoundrel running through the streets. Like, he, he actually has, like, proper robes, maybe, like, a 
a strange, like, middle ring with, like, arcane sigils on it, you know, like, as if it were a choker, but it's, like, a single metal band type necklace or something, and, like, I don't know, usual necromantic tchotchkes, whatever those are. Uh, so, yeah, just, you know. Uh, cool. Love it. So, someone comes to our door. That's the, that's the trigger. Uh... Begin play by greeting the person at your door. That's the that's the scenario. So I, who? I just want to offer something, Strash. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which like, you know, we could always take our break now, which lets you uh, study channel uh, channel room and stilling room related things for as many roles as you can fit in six minutes. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Uh, I, do, I, I do have a little dice bag right here, so I can I can just chain right through it real fast. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't think I don't think those give me tremendous power. But I'm okay with taking a break now. That sounds good. I would also love a cup of tea, which I have it's foolishly okay. forgotten to make before game. So uh, maybe this is not the worst situation. So uh, how do you folks feel about that, Judd, Lauren? Yeah, I'm down okay. with it. All right, cool. Let me set the. Waiting screen stuff up, and we'll see you folks in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to go make a cup of tea and make some rolls real fast, so. We'll see you soon.